Shalom Israel. This is GMS Stop and Listen, coming with another lesson. Uh, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, the Son, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles, the elders of GMS. Peace and blessings to you, brothers that's laboring out there on the highways and byways and constantly getting on this internet, pushing through this thumb and this urine. You know, and, um, uh, uh, I seen this article right here. It's talking about Congress warns U.S. headed towards <clears throat> civil war. Thirty-one percent of Americans agree. Now, when you look at this this uh, headline, Congress warns U.S. headed towards civil war. When you really um, go deeper into it, this is a prophecy that's in the scriptures. The scriptures prophesy of this, man. Civil war in America, man. So these, this is another one of those things, man, where we watching. The uh, watchmen are watching for the prophecies, man. And we're going to bring the prophecies out. Because this prophecy is in the scriptures, man. You know? Uh, let me get a civil war. I think I had looked it up. A civil war is a war between groups of people in the same country. Full definition, a war between opposing groups of citizens of the same country. And what do you have right now in this government of America? You have the plebeians and the patricians. When I say plebeians and the patricians, that was the old name in the Roman Empire. Right. Those two horns that you read about in Revelation, the 13th chapter. They are the they are the Democrats and the Republicans, man. And they are and they are uh, they've been at each other's necks, but they are at each other's necks now. It's a different divide going on, and it's and it's and it's really always and it's always at the end of it, it's always Israel, man. This divide they're going through now is dealing with those children being in those detention centers, right on on the border. And it says basically they're at that divide so much that it's saying that they could start a civil war. And, and we and we hey man, we, we welcome it in because we know this is one of the prophecies that has to happen before Yahweh Shai comes back and set the order up, destroys America and set this order of Israel reigning over the nations again. It says US the US is headed towards civil war. Congressman Steve King has warned his sentiments are mirrored by a troubling new poll, which shows that 31 percent of Americans believe a second civil war is likely to happen within the next five years. And we hope it happens. Hey, we hope it happens this summer or at the end of the summer. We hope it happens now because we're ready to get out of this place, man. The Republican Congress from Iowa made his eyebrows rise eyebrow rising comments in the response to a report about protesters occupying an Im immigration and customs enforcement officer in Portland, Oregon. He tweeted that America is headed in the direction of another Harper's Ferry, adding that after that comes Fort Sumter, right? King was referring to the siege of Fort Sumter in the harbor of Charleston, South Carolina, April 1861 which marked the start of the Civil War. Harper's Ferry was a Virginia town where militants, militant uh, uh, abolitionists, John Brown led a raid against the Federal Armory in October of 1859 in a failed attempt to spark a slave uprising. Upheaval over U.S. President Donald Trump zero tolerance immigration policy as well as children detention practices which was reversed last week via executive order has left america deeply divided man so you have trump who's basically uh, a tyrant he's basically doing everything against the initial orders with which which his own edomites put out so it's going to be a big divide man Basically, the divide is super rich against the poor, basically. You know, the elites, man. He's doing his work for them. 
And that's what it's coming down to, man. It says, amid con conflicting accusations of creeping fascists and perilous open borders, the congressman's startling brief, uh, startling brief appears to be shared by a surprising large percentage of Americans. A new Rasmussen National Phone online survey found that 31% of likely U.S. voters say likely that the U.S. will descend into a second civil war within the next five years. 11% of the respondents said civil war is in the near future was very likely, while only 29% said it was not at all likely. Right, number twenty nine percent. They have no clue what's going on. Even the thirty one have a little, but they twenty nine percent have no clue what's going on at all, man. That twenty nine percent, they just they just think America gonna bounce back, and basically they're gonna be um, having you know living forever, man. It says uh, Democrats thirty seven percent were more fearful than Republicans thirty two percent. And voters now affiliated with neither major party, 28% or 26%, that a second civil war is at hand. The survey also found that 59% of all voters are concerned that, that those opposed to Trump's policies will resort to violence. And while many Americans appear to be bracing for some kind of violent uh, in, interal co conflict, Others believe that a second civil war has already begun, right? And they already at war, man. We are we in the midst of World War Three right now. It says Tennessee law law professor Glenn Harlan argued that the recent U.S. Today column that a new civil war is well underway, while Bloomberg columnist Thomas uh, Schroller declared that America was at the beginning of a soft civil war. America's at the big dead. That's correct. But we are in the midst of World War Three too. Now, that this, this is a prophecy in the scriptures, man. That's why we look for the prophecies, man. This is one of the prophecies, man. This is in second answer, the 15th chapter out of the Apocrypha. The 15 books, the 14 books that was taken away from the Bible. Sent away. But they we have it. This is one of the reasons why the, the apocrypha was taken out because of the information that, that, that it entails, man. And it says, this is second Ezra 15 and 15 for the sword and their destruction draw of nigh and one people shall stand up and fight against another with swords in their hands, man. It says one people shall stand up and fight against with swords in their hands. For there shall be a sedition among men and an evading one another that they shall not regard the kings nor princes the course of their actions and the course of their actions shall stand in their power, man. Now, let me go look up that word sedition. The word sedition it says the crime of saying, writing, or doing something that encourages people to disobey the government. An incitement of a res residence or to an insurrection against the lawful authority, man. So you got to remember the other definition was the uh, uh, civil war is when groups, when groups in the same country go together. So you have different groups. In this country, that not that don't give a shit about what the authority is saying, man. You know that's why you have these different militant groups have been practicing for years, different fascist groups right here in America, man. They they are they are um, preparing for that civil war. They are uh, doomsday prepping and all that, preparing for to be bunkered down, you know, and they're preparing for it. But this is all the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. It says. For there have for there shall be sedition among men and invading of one another, and and they shall not regard their kings nor princes. So the government when it when it when it's full blown, they're not gonna care 
what executive orders are being put forth or who's saying what or what command is being given. They gon they gonna they gonna fight, man. In the course of their actions shall stand in their power. That's total anarchy, man. That's gonna be total anarchy in that day. And I said that word anarchy. Let me look it up. An R key. Anarchy. A situation of confusion. A situation of confusion. A wild behavior which the people in the country and groups and organizations are not controlled by rules of law. An absence of government. A state of lawlessness. Lawlessness. Lawlessness or political disorder due to the absence of government authority. So they're not going to care what the government is saying, man. These people are going to be wild out here. That's when they're going to. That's when they're going to bring in that martial law, man. That we always speak about and prophesy about. Well, that's when they're going to bring in a Gurkha troop to restore that order, to adjudicate, to kill on the spot. You know. But when the people, when they when they get in that position, they're not going to care. So no, 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 that's going to be the spirit. The government is not going to care also. They're going to kill you people, man. And it says, a man shall desire to go into the city and shall not be able. Because in that day, man, the, the uh, government are going to have the streets blocked off, man. It's simple, man. Overnight, they can block out, man. The Army of Corps engineers can bring those... Uh, those big cement uh, barriers in, they, they could fly them in, man, overnight and block the city out. The interest of the city, they could block it out, man. You know? And, and people won't be able to leave or, or, or you won't be able to get in. You know? You have checkpoints and everything. So you'll be trapped within. So therefore, when that, when that happens, no, you got to remember this, it's going to be a trickle-down effect. No, no food trucks will be able to run. So it's going to be chaos inside when those grocery stores in a matter of two or three days when they have no food. Because when it's blocked off, when it, when you're not be able to get in, hey, you got to remember, trucks not going to be able to move, man. They don't they don't fly helicopter food in. They're bringing in on trucks, man. So, hey, man, it's, it's, this, it's, this time, the times are coming, man. It's going to be rough times coming. Uh, uh, Jeremiah 30, man, time of Jacob's trouble. It's near, man. It says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and, and men shall be afraid. And it's going to be a, 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 a trying time. You're going to have grown men, man. They're going to be that's going to be afraid. It's been acting tough all their life when they're looking at their families and everybody hungry and they're looking at you like you the man. You got to go out there with total chaos is outside that door. People getting killed on the spot, getting cut, getting their heads cut off. Getting stabbed up, getting shot up, you know that's gonna bring fear on 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 the average man. If he go out there and try to uh, get some food for his family who crying they hungry, hey, he might not come back. So that's gonna be a troubling time, man. You know, it says a man shall not pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy his their houses with the sword. And spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So when he do go out that door, that's the first place he's going next door to see what he can get from his neighbor, man. To see if he can steal food from his neighbor. Because if he got to go seven to eight blocks to the grocery store to see what they got to, to ravish uh, food from there, hey, he might not make it back. So so that's the common sense to tell you if you leave your house for food, go next door. And that's what's gonna be happening, man. Cause you gonna it's certain people feel like, hey, if certain people got money, you think in your neighborhood, I know he got it, you know. We going straight there. You might look at this certain person, be like, you know, I know he been like, you know, down on his luck all his life. He ain't got it. You know, you gonna know who have it. So it's gonna be a rough time, man. It's gonna be a time of Jacob's trouble. It's gonna be a wild time, man. And that time is coming. Because it's one of the prophecies, man. It's one of the prophecies, man. It's going to be a wild time coming, man. Silver rest, man. It's coming to America, man. And you can believe these Edomites are preparing for it. You know, they're preparing for it. But the Lord is going to put his put His hand on the elect, and the elect will be taken care of. Tells you in Isaiah 65, man. My servant's going to eat. 
My servants gonna drink. My servants gonna rejoice, man. While some of you gonna be howling for vexation of spirit. And with that, all praise be to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of GMS. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, you brothers out there laboring, man. Hey, this is these are prophecies that are happening. Hey, we about ready to get out of here, man. You know, we pray that we pray that this thing jumps off even faster, man. And with that, shalom.